Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is my pinwheel Christmas garland. Um, really, really easy to make and relatively quick as well, depending on how many of the pinwheels you want to make. Um, the papers I've used today are from First Editions and it's their Merry Little Christmas and they are gorgeous. Really, really lovely. I have used First Edition a while back but since I've obviously been in China it's been harder for me to get hold of but on my recent trip back to the UK I stocked up on some of their lovely um, packs so I will be using them in uh, coming videos but the, the reason they're so nice is you get um, it's like the pack's slightly different so there's half well it's probably more than half of it so you get what is it so here at the very beginning these are your textured cards so it's hard to pick up in the the video here but they they're really beautiful quality papers here um really thick um they're only single-sided these first what is it one two you get three of each design so there's six there so just those two and then it changes again throughout the pack so here if you can just see there's like a shimmer Again, that's a really thick card. And then as you go through, you've got this one here, which is embossed. Um, so again, it's hard to pick up, but you can see there. So there's there's all different kinds. And then towards the end are all double-sided ones. So from here. And then all of these ones are double-sided. And obviously there's ones here as well that aren't just Christmassy. I mean, that would affect there. will look lovely um, for some, you know projects in the new year. So I have gone and pulled out nearly all, so these are all double-sided ones from this back piece here and I've used them all so there are no more um, to show you um, apart from the one that I'm going to um, make now. So it's six by six um, and yeah really lovely. I'll share all the links for that one. So I'm also going to show you these. I'm not going to make these ones, I'm just going to show you them and these, you again if you follow me you will know that I do love a things to decorate my plants. So I like to put things in my plant pot, depending on, you know, the celebration. So I've done some really good um, Halloween rosettes. Um, and I'm gonna show you some Christmas rosettes in a minute as well. So, but these are these big pinwheels and they're gonna sit and these look great in the poinsettia um, uh, plants. So yeah, just another fun thing, but you can make these, just stick them on the back. Um, that one there I have to rip off, but you just stick them on the back with some hot glue with a kebab stick. Um, they've got little bells. So again, that's just another little idea for you. Um, and like I said, sneak peek of what I'm going to show you at the end here. Are, these are my kitsch Christmas rosettes. And I absolutely adore these, but I'm going to show you them at the very end. Right now, I'm just going to focus on this really traditional in colour little pinwheel garland. So, I need to add one more onto this. So this is a garland of nine. Um, which is an odd number, I know, but it's it's what I needed to fill the space where I'm having it hang. So um, obviously you can make this as big or as um, small as you want. But for this one here, this is um, a piece of the 6x6 paper cut down to 4x4. Four four. So you just need a 4x4 four four square. And these pinwheels you can make with any size square. Okay, so if you've got, you know, 3x3, 6x6, 8x8, 12x12, just follow this process and you will get exactly the same look. So... Fold it over because whatever side you're now going to fold up like this will be the curved part of the pinwheel here. Okay, so it will be the top piece that's shown. So you just want to fold it on the diagonal so you've got point to point. I'm just grab my bone tool because again this is a lovely thick card. And then again do the other point to point. So you should have now this cross effect through your card. Okay, then with your scissors, what you want to do is, I've been eyeballing it, but, <clears throat> excuse me, I will tell you, you need to cut down, so this, from the middle here to the outer part, this measures at two and three quarters. You want to cut all the way down to one inch. So you're basically cutting, I'll show you now, so let me just grab a pencil, just for the camera, so you know what I'm doing. So, you got one inch, like so, and you just want to cut from the corner, really neatly all the way down to that one inch marker then rotate and again I'm just going to eyeball that one now and again like so so I would say whatever size you're doing you want to cut about three quarters of the way just just thereabouts um, I don't want to say do one inch on every size because if you're going to go smaller than this then one inch will be too much um, and on a 12 inch piece for example one inch may not be enough so you do need to gauge it but it's roughly about three quarters of the way from the end here down towards this centre part 
okay then turn it over this is optional but I just find it gives you a nicer end result just grab a bone tool and where you've cut up just put the bone tool underneath there and just kind of curl, curl it a bit there like so and then rotate grab that next piece and again and then rotate and then again rotate it like so okay so that's kind of what you want to have you can see there we've got these four curly bits now with your hot glue gum what you want to do is be very careful because it is obviously boiling hot glue just pop a little dollop in the middle there to start and then start with any one of your curved curved your curly pieces and just bring it into the middle so the tip there just sits in the glue hold it in place a minute and you keep meaning I need to get myself a little silicone um, brush but I'm just going to use this just to then keep that down and then when you put it in place and it's stuck like so get rid of that bit of glue just put your finger or your thumb in that bit there just to kind of really kind of lift it up so you get a really nice curved part of your pinwheel okay and then again put a little splodge of glue and get that next curly piece and again pop it down so you get that corner and just use something there once it's gone a bit cool you can use your finger um, but do be careful oh there we go so again just pump that bit up there and just do that on all of those I remember I used to make these in school. We used to use prick, prick stick and some like origami kind of paper. And I used to bring them home in the summertime. But pinwheels are not just for the summer. They're for Christmas as well. There we go. And then that last one. Again. They look so cute as well with this 4x4 size. So... There we go. So that is, again, just work on those kind of. And there's your pinwheel. Bring that up a bit closer. Now, obviously, I've got all that glue in the middle, but I'm going to cover that up now. But isn't that cute? And again, these two tones, they, they but you know, because they're double sided, they work really well together. They complement well. So you will need to, um, to make the garland, just die cut a small little circle. If you've got a circle punch, then you obviously you can whiz through those easily. For the top, I've just got some. Um, these pretty embellishments so I'm just going to use the gold one here now they are sticky but some of the sticky isn't that strong so I'm just going to put a little bit of my hot glue there and pop that right in the middle just hold that down for a second so I've alternated mine green red green red green red so this one here will go at the very end if I've done it correctly get rid of that glue there so yeah so I've got green green red green red green red green red green yes and I've just used some baker's twine here this is just a roll so what I've done so I show you these ones here so I've done it so that the two kind of tips here just kind of just overlap ever so slightly so just pull that taut so again I'll work along here and again nice and straight so just lie this one down so again it's just kind of overlapping just a little bit there pull that nice and taut and then I know roughly where that's going to be sticking so just there and then with this little disc I'm just putting it underneath that point put some hot glue stick it all down and then carefully Again, with lining this up just with your string there, and so it's in the middle, just hold that down like so. Again, make sure you're using the proper mat or something. You don't want to be doing this on your table and uh, getting the hot ink, um, hot uh, glue on it. And there you go, you can see the back there is nice. And there you have it. So I've got mine cut, I've got plenty there. Just obviously tie it up with what I want, but that is 
the garland. So really straightforward. Again, whenever you're doing lots of the same thing, I always say do it in bulk. So go and cut all your four by four first, then go and fold it all, then cut them all, then burn, you know, um, with the bone folder, curl them, and then stick them all. And it's much, much quicker. So that's that. So I'm going to pop that all to one side now because that's done. And I just wanted to show you my really fun um, rosettes, which again are another really, really easy, quick thing to do. But this is what I've done and I love them. So if I bring this up really close. So this is using, again, that amazing um, Do Crafts Dear, um, Love Santa um, uh, paper pack. <clears throat> and these are the little um, matching Christmas light bulbs. Um, and then I've just used the, again, matching glimmer paper on the back. And then these were just from the pound shop for a pack of all different colours, but the colours are non-traditional and they work perfectly with the non-traditional colours within this paper pack. So there's that one. Then I've got this one here. I've blinged it up a bit. And then I've got the red. Come in again there. Yeah, there we go. And then I've got I've done a little one as well they're just using the little snowflake so that's what we've got so i'm just going to quickly show you the last one that i've got because i want to get you i want all these papers used up now so um because when it comes to next year there's going to be another equally wonderful so this is what you need for this one here it's kind of like a two-in-one this tutorial today so just grab yourself a kebab stick i picked up a pack of about 30 from walmart for pennies these are all those lovely um little bells there um, I've got last one left of these, so this is the pinky one, and then I'm using this Santa and his sleigh. So I've made sure I've got the kind of sentiment there, and then I've got the Santa there as well, so you'll see that. And then I've die cut um, some glimmer paper there on, on a large die, um, circle die, and this one. I'll give you all the measurements in a minute. And again, that's that paper pack that I've been using. So the Do Crafts Love Santa, you can see them all there. Again, I'll share all these links below for you. So you will need, now I know in previous rosette tutorials I've said I always use um, 11 inch in the width, but that's only because I was always using um, A4 cardstock, which is eight and a quarter by 11 and a half, or no, 11 and seven eighths, something like that. Um, but because this is all 12 by 12 paper, I'm using the whole 12 inches because it's pointless just wasting that one inch. So you need a piece of 12 by, I'm using two inches wide. Now the width can be anything you want because the width will make it as big or as small. So for this one here, for example, um, grab my ruler. The width of this one was two and a half, so that will give you that size, which in diameter is five because it's doubled. Okay, so to make this blue one, which I think is the size, no, this is even bigger. So this would have been 12 by three inches because this is a six inch in diameter. Okay, so the one I'm making today is going to be just slightly smaller than this one here, it will be four inches in diameter. So just bear that in mind, whatever width you do double it and that's then the diameter of the whole rosette that you will have. So you need two pieces of 12 by 2 or whatever you're going to do and then I've already scored that one so along the 12 inch side you're just going to score at every half inch so half an inch one one and a half two two and a half three and so on okay so that's both of them done and then because this is obviously a four inch diameter rosette Rosette, excuse me, this um, particular uh, circle die cut is two and a half and that's going to go in the centre on the front. This one goes on the back just to cover up the um, where we stick the kebab stick and this one is a two inch circle die. So you've got them and then obviously decorations and all your embellishments and bits and pieces. So I'm going to get rid of my scoreboard. And then all you need to do is a little bit of burnishing. So you do one where your first fold will be a mountain fold, like so. So you're folding down to create that mountain. And then you're just going to concertina fold, valley, mountain, valley, mountain, all the way along. Just quickly whiz through like so. This is the quick way to do it. Okay. So you're just doing a very loose fold. And then when they're all together, just make sure they're all straight and then just pinch and they're all folding. It's so much quicker doing it that way. Okay, so that's that one. And then with the second one, you're going to start with a valley fold. So you're going to fold up like so. And again, concertina, so then it'd be a mountain, valley, mountain. And again, just whiz through that. Like 
like so. Again, make sure it's all nicely lined up and then just pinch down the whole piece there. And there you have it. So there's your two. And then just grab yourself some wet glue, um, not wet glue, some double-sided tape. So I'm just going to use some red tape here. And basically, because you've got your, doesn't really matter which way I do it, but you've got, you should end on one with a valley, which I've got here. And then this one here starts with the mountain. And basically that mountain fits perfectly over the valley to give you a nice join. And it just means you can't see at all how they were put together. So on that valley one, I'm just oh, putting some of my double sided tape. And then again, you just want to pop that one over the top there. So it all matches up like so. Okay. And then again, once we refurnish that, and then I've got this valley one here at the end. So I'm just going to, unfortunately, over Santa's face, but it's okay. You've got all the reindeer and stuff as well. So again, remove that. And then just bring it all around like so. And again, put that valley over Santa. <laughs> like so. Okay. So that is that all done. And then if you just kind of push one side down and then kind of work your way around, it would just straight away kind of pop into place like so. Or pop back out as well, but just push it down. And there we go. And then with your hot glue again, I'm going to push it together so you've got a hole there. What I tend to do first is open it loosely, okay, you can just see it there, and squeeze the glue inside. So it's like a well. And then get rid of that glue string and then just squeeze it all together like so. Hold down, okay, so that's all seconds. there now. And then there's just a little ball of glue on the top which is still wet but it's not hot so I can just push it down with my finger and then without it getting stuck it completely flattens down there like so and then just carefully again make sure you're using the right mat it just pops off there okay so that's that all done and then I'm going to decorate it first before I stick it down because I've got a nice what do I want to do it the other way around doesn't really matter basically that is now going to go in the middle like so I think that's maybe too big I'm going to change I've decided that, actually please. because that was the good size what did I say that was two and a half for the this one here the five inch one because this is smaller I want a smaller circle so I'm actually going to use maybe this one here which is probably the same as that one I think it's the two inch now so I think I'm just going to re yeah that's better I'm just going to cut that one okay so that's much much better now so that is now going to stick down like so. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back there. And just look at the design, it doesn't really matter, but I think I'm going to go up like that. Make sure that's nice and centered. Okay. And I've got this here which has got this kind of bulky bit on the back okay, here. So and I'm, I'm just going to attach remove that. this Merry Christmas sentiment that's just going to go lovely in the middle there so again I'm just going to put some glue on the back of this like so okay and then choose some of these so I think it's got to be a pinky one I'm going to put pink there I think you only need two I'm going to do a pink and a silver because this one obviously isn't as big so I'm just going to splodge some glue there again and just sit one like so and another one. Let that all dry. Prepare. So yeah, these are, like I said, pack of, like I said, I think it was about 30 of them. Make sure that's all nice and dry. Get rid of those little glue strings oh it's everywhere okay so if I just bring that up there you can see how cute is it like I said they're so tacky and kitsch and 
everything that I love so <laughs> I really really like them so just turn it over and just obviously make sure so that is the front and it's the right way up lie it down and then again I'm just going to put a splodge of glue and I'm going to pop my stick right down there so it's going straight and then I'm also at the same time so I'm just not using so much glue just pinch that in place there as well just gives them a nice look if they're maybe not against a wall so if people are maybe walking around behind them at least they have kind of a tidy finish to them on the back I think that's it there we go isn't that adorable so two in one uh, tutorial today with my really fun um, rosette so it's my rosette. lovely pinwheel Garland. Trying to get it all in there, all in view. There we go. So two completely different things, giving two completely different looks, but really fun and easy. So that's what I like to do. I um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.